Okay, so now that we've knocked out all of those guys, um, let's move on to the final one, which is sets. So the set that I'm talking about here is a character set. So we're talking about things like go away, um, you know, A to Z, zero to nine, um, except for a, E, I, O, U, right? Things like that. So what I'd like to have is, oh, let's also throw in the capital letters A, B, and C, right? This is just a stupid, stupid chart set. I don't know why I don't like these so much. <laughs> I like using them, but I hate writing this one. Um, so we can have several things. We can have literal characters. We can have ranges, right? Again, little literal character, treat it as ranges. We can have exceptions, right? So if I'm excluding another character set, right, I want it to match uh, everything unless it's in there. Oh, and we can negate the whole thing, right? So there are a few different pieces. There's, I'll just write them down, I guess. So ranges, so things like A to Z. What? Go away. There's whatever, chars, I'll just call them. So like, a, B, C. Um, there are embedded uh, sets, so that could be something like, instead of that, I could say digits, right? Um, <clears throat> so there's inclusions and uh, these would be things like entire sets that I want to include. And there are exclusions, which would be things that I would prefer to omit. So whatever you want, that's not going to work, but you know what I'm saying here. Don't know. Uh, accept things in the IOU, something like that. So this would be an exclusion. Well, this would be the exclusion. So both inclusions and exclusions are embedded character sets. Ranges are two endpoints and chars are literal chars. So those are all the pieces that we need. And we can get started. Uh, okay, so I will call it um, char set. So char set, um, it doesn't implement anything match singular match base wise. So we're gonna um, implement I match directly. Okay, um, and we're gonna need a bunch of junk here. <clears throat> so I'm not going to lazily create these things because I'm too lazy to be lazy. Um, but let's just write this down. So a list of um, range. Oh, I guess I haven't defined range yet. Look at my notes here. So nested <laughs> public. Well, actually, I don't really care. Private struct range. Um, is going to have public char low and high. Okay, so list, oh gosh, public read only, list of range, random. Um, ranges equals new list of range structures the public read-only <clears throat> hash set of chars. Uh, we'll call it chars <laughs> equals, what's the problem with this? Oh, that's why. Duh. Equals a new hash set of char. And this is trivial to make lazy, I just don't feel like it, and it's um, uglier to read. So list of, well, me's, char sets, I'll call it inclusions, uh, equals new, I'm sure you can see where this is going, public read only, list of char sets, Exclusions equals new list of char sets. All right, 
So here's all the things that are going to hold all the things that I care about. Um, the other thing that I'm going to need is to know whether or not this is positive or negative. So positive, public, read only, bool positive. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's not posi equals posi. All right. So I need to know that. This is where I'm going to store all those things, and this is just a helper structure, so I can be. Uh, that's going to be easy. So um, now I'm going to need. Well, that's the iMatch stuff down here. That's this junk, right? And now I'm going to have helper methods that let me declare and set up my char set. So let's have public void um, add char that will take a char c and we'll map that to chars.add c. Mm, yeah, whatever. Add c. Not a lot of work. Um, I was thinking, well, what if it's a duplicate, but I don't care. Um, let's see. Next, we can add a range. So public void add range. This will be char low, char high. And that maps to ranges dot add a new range with low equal to low and high equal to high. Okay. And hopefully that's obvious. That's the parameter. That's the field. Okay. And then these will be the same. Public void add inclusion. And this will be a char set. Um, INCL inclusion. I might as well spell it out. Maps to inclusions dot add the inclusion. Again, public void add exclusion of a char set exclusion means I want to keep track of it in my list of exclusions. <clears throat> okay. So that's going to help me at least keep track of this stuff. So how am I going to know if I've matched or if I can match something else? Blah, blah, blah. So if I match, really I need to know about containment. So assuming everything, it's easier to think about if it's all positive. Uh, if it's all positive, matching is going to mean that I contain somehow, I'll think of it that way, the character that I'm looking for. So private bool contains, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I want this to be public, and you'll see why. Uh, char uh, c, I guess, whatever. Um, first thing I'll do is say, <clears throat> I will start off with this assumption, and I will say at the end of it, if we are not a positive char set, then the result will be negated. And then we'll return result. Okay. So somewhere between those two lines, we have to do all this stuff where we check for containment. So if, and this seems redundant, and it is, but I like it in case I need to refactor it. So if I haven't matched so far, first thing I can do is look at the ranges because those are nice and easy. So for each... Uh, let's just do this var range in ranges. Um, if range dot low is less than or equal to C and C is less than or equal to range dot high, then it's between them. Then I will say uh, result is true. I found a match and I'll break this loop. Okay, so that's ranges. If they're not in there, then I'll check the hash set. So if 
not result dot well if I'm not yet positive uh, and chars dot contains C then result equals true All right so that looks in there if I'm still not sure then let's start checking the embedded stuff if I still don't know if I contain it uh, then for each conclusion sorry var inclusion in inclusions I can say um, the following so the result equals inclusion dot contains C I will simply delegate down to that guy if I found that that's true then we can break out of this loop okay so I'm testing all the quote positive things first um, if I have if I'm trying to see if I contain a character and it's in a range then we're good uh, if it's not in one of the ranges but it's in my literal set of characters then we're good um, if it's included in one of my embedded inclusions then we're good unless it's in an exclusion so this is the one where the order actually does matter so if I've in fact found it but um, I can find it in exclusion then I need to turn that back off again so for each var exclusion in exclusions I will do the following so if uh, I guess I don't need that. It's going to be the same. Oh, gosh. Let me think. Yeah, so if um, exclusion dot contains the character, then I need to say result equals false and break out of this loop. Okay. Let me make sure that makes sense. Assume the worst. If I am in a range, yay, leave. If I'm in a list of characters, yay, leave. If I'm in one of the nested char sets, yay, leave. Except on the way out, let me check and see if I have found it. Let's look and see if it's in the exclusions. And if so, then I need to set that back to false. And finally, now that I have a result, if this is a positive char set, then we're just going to return the value. Otherwise, we're going to flip it and return that value. Okay, so I believe that is contains. And next video, we'll just wire it up to match and match next, and we'll be done. Well, we'll test it. I guess that's fair.